Uh, my name is Thomas Hawk. I'm a Bay Area based photographer. Um, I'm working to photograph uh, and publish a million images before I die. I shoot, uh, process, and publish photographs every single day. Um, right now, today, we're about to go on a photo walk here at the Peninsula School, and we hope you'll follow us along. Welcome to the Mark Silver Show, Advancing Your Photography, brought to you by SanDisk. We connect you with photographers who have mastered their craft, sharing their insight and showing you their photography tips so you can go right out and use them. Thanks good for to see you. coming yeah. out here and showing us around. Yeah, good to see you again. So this is your photo walk, my friend. So cool. <laughs> let's walk and talk. All right, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good, beautiful place. Yeah. So tell us what you're looking at. What, what are you finding uh, as you're shooting? Well, what lens are you using? Right, yeah, right now I'm using the uh, 14 millimeter ultra wide. Um, and I mean, for dramatic, big wide angle shots like this, yeah. that works well. I mean, there's a lot to shoot here, and there's a lot of um, a lot of beautiful detail in the architecture, and that'll there'll be a lot of that to shoot as well. But I mean, this is such a grand entrance right here, and yeah. with the ultra wide lens with the 14 millimeter, um, so a lot of people use the 10 to 20 as well to shoot this sort of stuff. But you know, you really get all of the columns and in there and whatnot. Oh yeah. yeah. What do I got a 64 gigabyte SanDisk card, a 32 gigabyte SanDisk card. Uh, 16 gigabyte SanDisk card. I use SanDisk because um, of all the cards that I've tried, they're the most reliable, you know? Uh, when you're out all day shooting at 21 megapixel, and especially when you're bracketing shots, and so, you know, you're really getting three shots yeah. instead of one, um, I can definitely fill up that 64 gigabyte card plus in a day. So, you know, it's nice to have it all without having to offload and stop your shooting. And yeah. then later on at night, I can do that. But when you shoot, um, you know, I'll come back from these trips with, you know, 15,000 frames. And so uh, it takes, you know, it takes a lot of storage. <laughs> I like, I like a lot of abstract comp uh, composition. Think about turning your camera sideways, diagonally, up, down, different lenses. Um, it, it, oftentimes you can find uh, uh, some central action. And I think sometimes people uh, have too much in a photo. And so one composition tip is to try to work, you find that central action, either get closer to it, to focus more on it, or crop closer to it uh, in the post-production. Any final tips for photographers who just want to get better photographs? Yeah, a couple couple tips. The first tip is, uh, you know, have your camera with you as much as possible. I mean, everybody says that, but you know, you can't take a picture if you don't have your camera with you. And although camera phones are good, and you can get you're getting more and more interesting shots, like with, uh, you know, the iPhone and Hipstamatic. Um, overall, I think you just got to have it with you. You know, if it's in your car, if it's if it's in your trunk, you know, hopefully it's on you. But have your camera with you. You just never know what's going to happen. Some event, something that you come across. I mean, so many great shots are accidental shots that just show up out of the blue and you, if you had your camera, you'd be ready. So I think having your camera with you is really important. Um, and then shoot a lot, you know? I mean, digital is essentially free. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you're talking about battery life and card storage, but in, in hard disk space. But, you know, other than that, uh, you know, I will frequently take, uh, you know, 20 shots of the same thing, you know? And there's some famous photographers uh, like, uh, you know, William Eggleston, who says that he never takes the same shot more than once. Yeah. You know, and I think some people, maybe they can do that. Uh, me, I'm the opposite. You know, I want to shoot something 50 times and then say, okay, that's the one I want out of those 50. So, um, personally, uh, you know, I tend to overshoot. I think, I think a lot of people just take one or two shots of something and then they get home and if it's, you know, they're blurry, you know, yeah. if they had taken 10, maybe nine would have been blurry and one would have come out okay if it was a low light situation or something like that. So. I, I tell people to overshoot things. Thomas, thanks for joining us on Advancing Your Photography and coming out on our photo walk. Thanks, glad to be here. Thanks for having me on. 